Hello friends and beautiful people. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about power outage and dark winter and how will you power things. So we did a lot of research and we were looking into getting a Generac whole house system. And after looking into it and the price and um, not just availability but everything that it was going to encompass as far as uh, our needs and what was going to be involved with a Generac, we decided to look around some more. Um, we were getting the impression that a Generac is going to take a lot of fuel. Um, we were told 400 gallons of gas for a week uh, to power a Generac and I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, someone else told me that's inaccurate. So, but that, when I started looking into all of this, that's what my basis for uh, our plan was based on. So we looked into a lot of different solar generators. We don't have natural gas here. Um, even if we did, if there's a power outage, you're probably uh, not gonna have gas because they're gonna need power to pump that to, to all of the, the homes that are on it. And we, the amount of propane we have is limited. And I wanna save that for cooking as much as possible. Um, although if it's a long-term situation, you're only gonna have propane for so long and then you're not. And with the prices of gas and propane headed where they are, I'm really glad that we decided to go solar. So I started looking at different solar generators. I don't need to power my whole house if the power goes out. I only need, and this is why I told my husband, I said, look, I don't need you to supply me with a blow dryer and a curling iron and a mixer and a washer, dryer, all those things. I don't need. What I need is heat and we use a I'll show you. Well, this is our live from our family room. So we have a wood burner. Um, and then we have, it has a fan. And our old wood burner, you could put a fan that was um, powered by the heat coming out of it. But this one, you can't set anything on top of it because it's an insert. I need heat and I need to be able to keep my refrigerators and freezers going. So other than that, I'm good. I can make coffee without power. I can, I can do laundry without power. I can do all those things. Um, if you're someone who needs to have a washer and a dryer and all, all those things, then this might not be the way for you to go. So we looked at several different ones. We looked at the Jackery and, and that one, that one would have been a close second for us, but we decided to go with the Blue Eddy. Um, and we've tested it out. So now I'm comfortable in giving a little bit of a review on it. <clears throat> what we ordered was the uh, 20 volt 10 amp and then the open circuit on it is like 24 volts so we we got the it's a 2000 w and you uh three solar panels now what i will tell you is that if you are looking for a company that has excellent customer service blue eddy is not for you <laughs> we have had some issues there but we've worked through them and we do have everything resolved so when I initially ordered it, um, I just put in for the, uh, the model that I wanted. And then I put in, um, it came up suggested and a solar panel. So I ordered one solar panel in the Blue Eddy and it came and my husband's like, this isn't gonna work because this solar panel isn't, um, it's only, I forget what the size was. Um, and I was gonna have him on this video, but he's busy at the church. So, the solar panel we got wasn't enough for long long story short wasn't enough for this model so we emailed we uh left voicemails nothing um about a week or two later a guy from blue eddie called they are from overseas um he called us at like six o'clock on a friday night and was uh, we finally got some answers in the meantime I had been sending emails um, and increasing my uh, displeasure 
<laughs> for, for coming up with a nice way to say it um, with each new email. And finally, um, a lady, her name was Winnie, she replied back and she, I said, I need someone to, to call my husband and here's his cell phone number. We have some questions and we wanted to know if we could just order more solar panels and that would take care of us or what we needed to do. And she said, no, just send me emails and I'll reply and I'll tell you if this, you know, I'll answer your questions. Well, that didn't work for us because we needed we wanted to talk to someone live and we weren't willing to wait weeks and weeks in between emails to get this all resolved because dark winter's coming. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's here as far as we're concerned, but that's an, you know, that's another story for another day. So basically the little guy calls my husband back and, um, there's, you can also buy these in bundles. So I would recommend number one, that you buy it in the bundle so that you get your solar panels with it. Now I will tell you that if you buy the bundle, it doesn't come with the uh, cords and the, uh, forget what the thing's called, charging booster that you need. You have to order those separately. So count on that costing you another couple hundred dollars. And this was not an inexpensive unit and we were getting very frustrated. So they came back to me and they said, okay, we will send you two more solar panels at this discounted rate and then you can hook them up in a series to your Blue Eddy and you should be good to go. So that's the route we were gonna do. And you know, like I said, we finally have everything all squared away. Another thing that happened was the panel that we got wasn't compatible with the other panel that they have. You really just need to order the bundle and that's gonna save you a lot of the grief that we went through. I will tell you that you do not get an owner's manual with your product, even though it's listed on the packing um, list that you also have to get online. But if you go online, you can download the manual. And that's where my husband got all the information that he got when he was setting it up. They come with a 60% charge on them. Um, you can actually plug them in to the wall to get them uh, charged if you have power. So, and they don't like for them to, if it's going to be sitting, they want it to be sitting with a hundred percent charge on it. So we did that. We, um, plugged it into the wall just so that we could try it out and use it. We, um, plugged in our, there was a uh, cold day and we hooked, started a fire and we hooked our uh, wood burner up to it for, I don't know, it was eight to 10 hours. And it only took it down to like 60% charge, 65% actually. So then we charged it back up and we took it out and used it on all of our freezers. And one of my freezers is commercial, but it doesn't take any more voltage or wattage than any normal freezer. And it, um, it's been amazing. So when it comes to the product itself, we're 100% sold on it. It's just that customer service side of it. And you just have to, to know that you're dealing with someone who speaks a different language and who isn't, um, it's not easy to communicate with. So I am gonna turn this around right now and I'm gonna show you what we've got. All right, so this is the front of it. It's got docking stations that come with it. You've got, and this isn't, it, there you go. It's got um, six AC outputs. It's got the USB, USB. It's super easy. If you wanna use it, you literally just push this and plug something in. So <clears throat> it's, uh, like I said, it's an amazing unit and it has run everything. I'm gonna pause for a second and show you our three freezers. Hang on just a minute. So now we are in the garage and I have this unit and then I have this unit and then I have this unit. And if you'll notice, they're all digital. So um, one thing that I would strongly recommend is that, oops, let's get you somewhere where you can see it, is that since all of these things are digital, you are going to want to make sure that they are plugged into a surge protector. If it's just a matter of your power being temporarily out or just like, um, like a bad weather front that comes through and you lose power, you want to make sure that 
that surge that comes through does not kill your freezer. So one of the things to be concerned about is you have to make sure that when you are ordering a Blue Eddy or any other charger, that that initial load from plugging in a freezer or a refrigerator is gonna be able to be carried by the unit when, that you purchase. When you first plug something in, you get a quick burst of energy. So if you don't choose a generator that is strong enough to take that first jolt, you could fry your freezer. And I just need to, basically, if I, if we figured out that this was going to be uh, a long-term, you know, like if this, the predictions of the rolling uh, power outages for the winter, if we thought something was going to be long-term, I just need to be able to, to keep that freezer cold long enough for me to get everything inside of it canned. There's some things in there we'll just chuck a lot of them are samples from work um, you know if it's not something we would eat then we're just gonna have to to call it a loss but there are other things that we have out there that we would want to can so it's very important to make sure that your generator will have will take that initial surge so um, and maybe I'll have him do a video later on uh, how to use this but <laughs> I mean, it's literally, he trained me how to use it in two minutes. Um, he will, I think he is going to do a video when we get the rest of our um, adapters or accessories or whatever you want to call them. When we get them in and we hook up the um, solar panels to it, um, he'll do a video on how to hook up the series. Although they've got it on their website. They've got a great picture on how to do it. And they even show you on the website you know, this is what you need to order to be able to use solar panels with this unit. And the solar panels are not, are not rated to leave outside all the time. You're going to take them outside long enough to charge your unit. And I will tell you that the one solar panel that we had when we plugged it in, it was, uh, it was doing a good job. So we don't have any concerns with the solar panels themselves. We don't have any concerns with the unit itself. It was just a customer service issue. And thankfully I, I got um, the results that I wanted from the representative we talked to. But regardless, um, you need to be prepared for losing power. There are other things that, you know, it, that you can run off of it if you so desire, a coffee pot or or whatever, I have a percolator that's gonna run off my gas stove. I already am able to cook on the gas stove while I have propane. When I don't have propane, I'm gonna go out to the fire pit and use wood. And we've got enough wood stocked up for this year that I think we're in good shape. Um, and if not, we can, we've got a dead tree standing that he can always cut down and that's gonna provide more than enough to get us through this winter. So if you have any questions, message me below. And until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.